Howdy friends, Somerset County Gazette here and I've got a report from 25th of August 2022 12 CCTV cameras in Taunton set to be upgraded and today's date is the 2nd of April 2023 CCTV cameras in Taunton Town Centre are set to be replaced by Phil Hill, Chief Reporter. A total of 11 CCTV cameras in Taunton Town Centre's spine are set to be upgraded to help provide better quality pictures to use as evidence in court cases. Somerset Western Taunton Council is investing £58,000 in its spy in the street equipment during the current financial year. So it's spy in the street. And it's given priority to cameras running from the junction of Staple Grove Road through Bridge Street, North Street and 4th Street to East Street. The equipment will be digitized and made wireless where applicable. which might simply mean 5G in the most critical part of Taunton according to a report to the council's community scrutiny committee next Wednesday August the 31st 2022 the report says the equipment requires updating in order to comply with the law it would also improve the evidential quality and service of the most used cameras and also reduce the annual operational and maintenance costs. There are 92 cameras across South West Taunton area. The vast majority are analog, adds the report. They are significantly beyond their recommended lifespan and are starting to fail. The quality of the analog images received through the digitized video management system is not good and therefore makes the case more pressing to move to digitizing the CCTV cameras. A total of 68 cameras in Taunton, Wellington, Minehead and Watchet could be replaced at some stage, with 12 removed and a further 12 in the multi-storey car park in Paul Street, Taunton retained. Hmm. And here's a report from 2nd of September 2022. CCTV cameras to be upgraded in unsafe Taunton Town Centre. Hmm. By Daniel Mumby, local democracy reporter. Whatever that is. Thousands of pounds will be spent upgrading Taunton CCTV cameras as councillors admitted they didn't feel safe in the town centre. Well, it's no wonder councillors don't feel safe anywhere, really. There are nearly 100 CCTV cameras covering public spaces in Taunton, Wellington, Watchet and Minehead, which are either managed directly by Avon and Somerset Constabulary or by council officers. And a number of analogue cameras operating in Taunton Town Centre, which are monitored by Sedgemoor District Council, are reaching the end of their service life and will soon be upgraded to digital at a cost to taxpayers of around £58,000. The rest of the camera network could be upgraded in the coming years, with different options being debated after the new Unitary Somerset Council assumes power in April 2023, which they've just done. Now, in April 2023, nobody, nobody agreed to, apart from those that have control, which is a handful of people. Under the current proposals, 11 existing analog cameras will be replaced along the spine of Taunton Town Centre, running from the A3027 Staple Grove Road, along North Street, Bridge Street, 4th Street and East Street. Councillor Roger Habgood said, I go all the way around Taunton at 1am or 2pm 
with the street pastors and let me tell you without those cameras it's dangerous we don't operate unless we have to and they provide us with cover well, street pastors are a christian organization that go out on a friday and a saturday evening setting up to look after drunken revelers um, and if you're a christian preacher if you're a christian pastor surely you you have the protection of god that's not the way it works the fear of crime is rising here not diminishing partly because of this i'm disappointed to say the least i volunteer more actually in bridgewater than in taunton these days because it's safer mr habgood added that he was disappointed and dismayed that so little work had been done on this matter since the Liberal Democrats won control of the council in May 2019. Now, the Liberal Democrats have pretty much exposed themselves as being Marxist socialists. Scott Weech, Somerset Western Taunton Council's Community Resilience Manager, said that proposed upgrades of the cameras had not been carried out until now for various reasons something which he and his colleagues had only been alerted to within the last 18 months. Councillor Janet Lloyd, whose Wellington East Ward includes much of Wellington's town centre, said, I don't go to Taunton at night. I wouldn't want to. But we don't want you here. I have been out with the street passers in Wellington in the past and we knew that the cameras were there. Councillor Libby Lisgo said she hoped the new Unitary Council would be able to continue the upgrades in the coming years. She said, I think the challenge for the future is going to be how much the new Unitary Council can pick this up and make it work across all our communities. And this little nugget of joy from 16th of March 2023. CCTV in Taunton gets digital upgrade to help crime prevention. Hmm. One of the upgraded cameras in Taunton Town Centre. Hmm. By Antonio Scan. A slight irony there. Cariello. CCTV cameras around Taunton Town Centre have been upgraded to help with crime prevention. A total of 11 analogue cameras are now digital thanks to a Somerset West and Taunton Council scheme. The cameras and installation work cost 60 grand, funded from existing maintenance reserves. The new digital cameras, which run through the centre of town from Staple Grove Road to East Street, will provide better picture quality to help with crime prevention. They will also be used in a safeguarding capacity to ensure the welfare of vulnerable people and for general operational activities in partnership with Avon and Somerset Police and Sedgemoor District Council to monitor shoplifters, known offenders, antisocial behaviour and public nuisances. SWT's Executive Member for Community, Councillor Christopher Boob, said it's fantastic to see this scheme completed, which will enhance the CCTV offer and benefit shoppers, visitors and traders within Taunton Town Centre, meaning it will continue to be an attractive place for people to live, work and visit. It's not an attractive place. How can it continue to be an attractive place if it's not an attractive place in the first place? And it hasn't been for years. It's been declining. You ask anybody that lives in Taunton. Inspector Mike Griffiths from Avon and Somerset Police said, It's great to see this scheme up and running. It will undoubtedly assist us in the prevention of crime and disorder, as well, well as bringing offenders to justice. Comments. Oh. The Illumined writes. One will discover in the not too distant future that these digital cameras are simply an addition to aid movement monitoring, plus impose movement restrictions in the looming 15 minute city status of everywhere on earth, including Taunton. 
Modern CCTV technology is equipped with such things as facial recognition and even gait recognition. The latter is quite simply how you walk. Once the fourth industrial revolution is implemented, the digitalized human will be nothing more than a commodity for Klaus Schwab and the World Economic Forum's The Great Reset, which has as its mantra, you'll own nothing and be happy. Will you? With the CBDC, the central bank digital currency, replacing hard cash, also a looming affront on your freedom of privacy and choice, the world is quickly moving towards an Orwellian 1984 future. Your spending will be 100% monitored and controlled and linked to a Chinese-style social credit rating slash scoring system. I'm already at minus 1,500 social credit points for simply telling you that. Other comments. Dean, uh, Dean B. 25 years ago, it was such a lovely town. Clean and peaceful. Good shops, nice people. Now it's turned into a den of thieves. That'll be your government and your council. What a waste. And never to be returned to its former self. As the people who now reside there have no love for the town and care is something that they do not have and never have had wherever they have been. He's a miserable git. Not everyone, as a lot, are disappointed at how Taunton is now. I live in Taunton and don't feel that way. I care very much, thank you. That was in reply to Dean B. Cloud strife. Yes, there was graffiti stuck up on the front of Debenhams with nobody arrested. Yeah, doing great to it's a deter a crime, aren't they? And that's that. But well, the biggest crime is the Great Reset. You will own nothing and you'll be happy. It's a property, freedom and person grab. Full stop. Yeah.